Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Bloodborne Beginner Guide. V Slayer here, as always. I hope y'all are doing well. So today we're gonna do a few things, or actually just one thing, which is go through the um, Forbidden Woods. But there's two parts to these woods, uh, so I'm gonna show you in this video how to do the first part, and then the second part and the boss will be in the second video. So, you can uh, go and talk to the um, the NPCs. As you saw, the old lady is kind of freaking out. So I already have the um, church lady's blood as we did last video, so I don't need it. I wonder if you emote. If they'll, oh, they won't emote. I guess only the doll does. That sucks. <laughs> So the quickest way to the Forbidden Woods is this way. And as you see, it's nighttime. So as I mentioned in the last video, a lot of things have changed. A lot of um, a lot of monsters are asleep and a lot of monsters are just not there anymore. So it makes things a little bit easier. We're gonna make our way to through this cemetery courtyard type of thing. We're gonna take out the giant, only one of them. So sneak up on him, use your two-handed weapon. If you're using the holy blade like, like I am, blunt damage will do a lot of damage as y'all saw. Three hits took care of him. But it's much easier now. So watch out, we're gonna go against an insight sucking monster. We only really have to kill him to go through the way we're going to. Because I don't want him sneaking up on us, it really sucks and it's annoying. Again, blunt damage will, um, yeah, kick a shit in as y'all saw. <laughs> I really love this freaking weapon, it's so beautiful. Okay, so we're going through this way, we didn't go here yet. I didn't bring you guys here. You can talk to Alfred, he's gonna give you a few insights on areas we're gonna go too soon, so Bergenworth and... He's gonna give you a little bit of backstory on the healing church and on vile bloods. So basically, vile bloods are the vampires of Bloodborne. Actual vampires. Not like our character who's dependent on blood, who's not a vampire, but is kind of vampiric and is kind of a vampire, anyways. <laughs> so we're gonna be able to open this door here. We need the password that we uh, gain information on after killing Vicar Amelia. So if you're so if you just like stumble on this guy then you didn't kill like our Amelia you need to go kill her to open the door. So we see that a dude that has been talking to us was dead so that's uh, weird but yeah. <laughs> just gonna go down here all the way down and we're gonna go into the forbidden woods area. Now the first part is not super confusing. You're gonna see in the second part of these woods in the next video. It is freaking confusing as hell. I even got lost like a couple times, but it's fine. We will get through this and we'll get every item as well, so. You don't want to jump down here because that is not the path. <laughs> but you can kind of see the whole area, like the whole first part of uh, the Forbidden Woods, so if you use the monocle, you can see the lamp we have to get to. It's like right there. <laughs> right in that area. So, continue down here. Now, there's gonna be a few enemies that throw oil at you, so oil urns, and there's gonna be enemies that try to set you on fire, so be very careful of that. There's an uh, item right here. Well, the way we deal with those dudes, wait for his slash attack with his weapon and uh, yeah, parry him. But when they start like doing their combos, they really freaking hurt, so you have to be careful. These guys will die pretty easily. So just follow the path I take. 
But this is just a, a dead end, but there's a few items there, so... Again, how to deal with these dudes. Blunt damage. And uh, yeah, it hurts them a lot. <laughs> But they also drop like a shit ton of blood vials, so that's good. We got a gemstone and nine men's knowledge. I feel like our knowledge is really high already. If you get the 40 before a certain thing happens in a game, then you will see a certain thing. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it, but <laughs> anyways. If you manage to get to uh, over that by not buying stuff in sight, then uh, yeah, it's pretty funny. Not funny, I mean like disturbing. <laughs> Alright, so the lamp is here. To the right there's a shortcut we can't unlock yet, but there are a few crows hiding. There's an item over there, so we're gonna take care of them. So antidote, which tells you what? Yep, poisonous enemies. Not right now, do soon, but not right now. So now we're gonna go over the bridge. Uh, if you want to do this quickly, painlessly, follow what I do. Also, there are traps you have to be aware of. As you can see, I'll show you um, once I kill this dude. Oops. There's an item here. Conveniently hidden between those tomb tombstones. So here, uh, yeah, do not step on that because you will get crushed by this thing here. <laughs> so you want to go directly to the right. Uh, kill this dude. You can go get the item there if you want, but I'm gonna go kill these dudes first. Ouch. Again, doesn't matter if you get hit because you get your health back when you get the successful parry. Gonna use pebbles in case I need to uh, pull some dudes. I probably won't. So the thing is, you could use Molotov's throw to kill those two dogs if you want. But I'm just gonna drop and hope I hit most of them. So there are two dudes who are going to be throwing uh, oil urns at you. The one we almost killed and another one further away. So if you kind of aggro them all, it's fine. Just uh, wail on them with your two-handed weapon and you should be good. But yeah, if you're not sure, the easiest way is just to throw a Molotov at the dogs. And it might also get the dude. So, you, you know, three birds, one stone. He kicked me, that little bitch. Didn't know the guys could kick, but okay. So he can like pull this dude into the fire. Or I guess he doesn't want to, but... Later we'll see he can do that with a pig, which is pretty funny. So here's the item we saw earlier. Now we're just gonna grab the stuff I missed. Some oil urns. So you don't want to go this way. Because if you do, you'll fall down. <laughs> and you'll alert like... There's like a small village-ish area. And there's just a lot of dudes and it's easier to go the way that I'll show you. So don't fall. So you want to go through this field here. There's a big beast uh, here. He has a couple items. Oh. He did not do the attack I thought he was gonna do when I was prepared for it. <laughs> there we go. There's some beast blood pellets here. You can grab. It's always fun going in a new area. So many items. <laughs> so this is the village. There's another trap here, uh, right in front of it. About to go to the left. 
There's an NPC we're gonna talk to. And there's a few items we're gonna get. Some more uh, garbs. So he's gonna give you an item. Now this item is to be used when you're finished this entire area and not just the first part of the Forbidden Woods but the second part as well. But again, you know, if you follow this guide I'll cover all of that so you don't have to worry about it. If you want extra blood echoes you can kill these dogs. There's gonna be a crow to your right. Right here. Uh, go up this ladder and you're gonna have a church, the white church set I believe. Just, yep. Kill these dudes. Now there's gonna be some dogs down here. Uh, the guy here to your right, don't bother with him yet. Don't alert him. So I just got my shit kicked in by these dogs. Nice. But yes, dogs are very uh, aggro in this game. <laughs> so I should have uh, like hit him once and then dodged the back, but I didn't because I still think I'm level a hundred. <laughs> it's so crazy how little health you have in those parts. I guess that's what makes the game hard for most people. But if you dodge the dogs cor correctly, you just, you know, wait till they jump at you and they'll usually bite twice so you can like dodge back, wait, and then hit them. So we're gonna make our way back. so funny when you scream that. <laughs> I might just skip everything entirely, I don't know. Then again I want the blood echoes so... Ow. I wonder if I can just drop on him. Oh! He's just out of reach. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, we're going to skip all these dudes. I'm just going to go down here. I want his blood vials though. Thank you, buddy. Okay, we're back. Just not gonna mind the dogs this time. Oh, that's funny, he's the one who has my blood echoes. <laughs> Okay, doggies. And that's the way you should do it. <laughs> Not the other stupid way I did it. <laughs> now, you don't want to go this way because there's a um, sack dude. So just kill this guy for- oops, what the hell. Just kill this guy first. Or he'll close the gate in your face. So if you go through the front of this village, he'll close the gate and then you have to go all the way around. Which is annoying. We're gonna go kill the sack dude. We can actually like sneak up on him if you go this way. If you go the other way, he'll see you, so. What? How did that not work? Oh well. It's fine, he's dead now. Oh, bold paper, nice. Thank you. There was an item in this uh, little house. Beast roar. So that's a. Um, arcane based item 
that pushes enemies back. So like if you're getting surrounded, you can use that and then it pushes them back. So you want to clear this area because a lot of dudes are throwing molotovs and there's a um, like a kind of not a river but a um, swamp I guess you have to go through later and they will throw molotovs and there's oil in that water so it will just kill you so you want to take care of them right away already throwing some at me you can use this for cover. Wait until they both throw it and uh, roll. Ow. There's an item here, but we're not going to get it right away because we haven't unlocked the shortcut. So you can do that after. So now we're gonna do the village part. So blue elixir is to make yourself um, invisible to enemies. So what you want to do is drop on here. I don't believe there's any items, just making sure. But yeah, if you don't want to lose health, just drop down here. There's an item in his first house, and the second one there isn't. The second one is more because a lot of enemies are in that area, so if you don't want to get cornered, you can use it to lure them in, but we're gonna kill the sniper, and then there's gonna be a beast. Wanna take care of him first before doing anything else. Now we're gonna pull all of them one by one with pebbles. Uh, buddy, you're going the wrong way, okay. This one saw us and he's strong Molotovs. And we can't lure him in, so we're just gonna... Yeah, kill him. <laughs> there should be another beast in this area, so be careful. Uh, don't fall in that hole. Continue in here. There's two dudes when sleeping. He ain't sleeping for real. <laughs> Grab the item, make your way into this house to the left. There's two dudes in there. Again, make sure you don't fall in the hole that's in the middle go through here. Oops, no, never mind. That is the area you fall in if you go where I showed you earlier. <laughs> so here is a shortcut. Which will unlock from the other side. The dude we killed earlier <laughs> okay so i want to show you if you fall down it's not a big deal but do a drop attack because there's some crows in here and they're all dead okay so there's an item here it's nothing big but you know for the seek uh this is the seek <laughs> for the sake of completion we're gonna do it Now these dudes hit hard and their weakness is fire, so if they get, uh, they catch on fire, they will like shriek and they'll hate it, so. They drop blood vials sometimes, but I wouldn't farm them. This guy you can easily sneak up on. Now there's gonna be... A guy is shooting a cannon at you in this area, so you have to go from house to house really quickly or you'll get shot to hell. So this is the path to the shortcut, which we're gonna unlock quickly. So if you die, the thing is you can um, drop down where I showed you earlier and then just take the shortcut and you'll be right back. But it isn't too much of a hassle. So you want to take out these two dudes first, but watch out because there's a um, sniper right up here. 
So if you want, you can just go and kill him first. And then uh, drop on these dudes. And he didn't even try to hit me once, which, okay. You do you, buddy. So go into the first house. It's gonna be a shortcut you can take to not get blown to shit. So continue ahead, there's gonna be two guys here. He just shot a cannon so you can quickly run to the house here. There's a beast here, he hits freaking hard so you have to be um, on point. Oh shit. So yeah, he- oh no! Oh crap, yep. Yeah. He hits hard. Real hard. So this is good that I died because I want to show you the quick shortcut if you do die, so... You know, you won't have to uh, worry about it. The thing is, if you die in this game, it isn't too much of a problem in areas where you unlock shortcuts because you can actually just farm some stuff. And I'm gonna just ignore these, this dude. I'm gonna uh, ignore everyone. Pretend they don't exist. So this is a shortcut here. Just go down, drop down, and you won't take damage, I believe. Or yeah, you. Well, took a bit of damage, but. <laughs> so quickly make your way into the house. Take the shortcut. And we're back. <laughs> so you don't have to go and do this whole thing over and over again. We can skip the first beast. We just wanted the um, items in the house. Oh crap, I really avoided that by the skin of my teeth. <laughs> so if you're not sure where the house is, don't do that. Just, you know, go from house to house. But the shortcut I showed you in the first one. So you could actually just go ahead and kill him right now if you want, but... I like to do things one by one, so... Gonna... I kind of want a Molotov of his ass because it's probably going to kill him. And you know, it just misses him. Let's bring him in the second house, there's more area. There's more space, I mean. Oh, nope, you're not going to get me this time. So if he does his jumping attack, you can just wait and dodge at the last second so you can you know, get behind him. So the dude is not shooting, we're going to take him out. Is quite a bit of health. You can actually use a cannon. Of, uh, yeah. Which I'm gonna show you. There's an item here, so don't forget it. Uh, you want a torch here because it is dark as hell. And don't go and attack this enemy right now. Because it's a new kind of enemy and he sucks. <laughs> he really freaking sucks. And we'll see more of them in the second part of these woods. So You're gonna want to drop down here. There's gonna be an enemy here, I believe a beast, if I'm not mistaken, yep. So as you saw, you can parry his uh, his right-handed hit. I'm not sure if there's anything else on this side. I don't think so. Nope. So take the ladder up here.
We're getting close to the end of this first part of the Forbidden Woods now, so... I know we have a lot of blood echoes, but don't panic. Now there's a few uh, things we can get here. Just go on the cogs. Go straight. So we got some poison knives. Now there's a thing at the bottom here, you see? It's a hand cannon. But we're gonna get that after getting this NPC. Item here. So um, as you can see, there's a ton of bodies, so you can guess as to what he is. <laughs> so the thing that happens, if you send him to Cathedral Ward, he will eat everyone. You'll start by eating the skeptic, which is fine because he's annoying. And if you want to fight him, you can send him to Cathedral Ward. If you want him to die, you can send him to the clinic. So she's gonna take care of him and you can go and see her after when you reload the game or just reload the area by, by uh, the lamp. And he's gonna be dead and she's gonna give you some beast blood pellets. So anyways, here's a hand cannon. It's pretty cool. It's a, like a big cannon, but he uses like I think 12 bullets at a time. But if you level it up and you don't use um, your bullets a lot, like for a boss fight, it's pretty good. It will do like a ton of damage, but I never really used it that much, to be honest. And uh, you want to drop down, but not there, because that is stupid. <laughs> you probably want to go back the other way, but you know. For the sake of saving a little time. So you want to sneak up on this dude. If you don't, his... Um, He'll grow serpents out of his head and they will poison you. And if he grabs you, it kills you instantly. So be careful. But we got a really good gemstone, so that's that. I don't believe there's any items on this uh, bottom platform here. So you can just make your way here. Uh, and here there's an elevator that we can't use yet. We'll be able to use later. Uh, for the boss fight. So you want to go straight out here. And we're gonna unlock the shortcut back to the lamp. So, there's nothing here, no items. Now there's gonna be another dude with the snakes already out of his head. So this is how you deal with him. If he hits you with the axe, you can parry it. Like that, but it's stupid because it will poison you, so be careful. Put the antidotes on. If he lunges at you with his arms, it means he's gonna grab you, that's the attack that kills you. And if he just lunges with the head, then you can also parry that. With the snake heads, I mean. So this is the second part of the area, but we're gonna go right here to unlock the shortcut. To finish this off, there's an item up here we're gonna get. And here is the elevator. Oh, I can't go here, jeez. There's an item here. And you can talk to this dude. He gives you a covenant. It's mostly for online play. But, I mean, you can just join the league if you wish. He gives you a rune. Again, it's for online play. You can kill him if you want, uh, but he's very hard, and then once you kill him, he always aggro if you don't kill him first. And uh, then a friend of his is gonna come back and uh, try to kill you as well, but if you do kill them both, they give you some pretty good items. I'm gonna show you how to cheese them in the next, uh, the next video, because there's a very easy way, because they are dumb AIs and they follow you everywhere. <laughs> So for now, we're gonna go back to the Hunter's Dream, level up our things, and we're gonna end the video. So the doll, when she's not there, she's uh, at the tombstone up here. So we got quite a bit of blood echoes. We can level up a few times. We can level up four times. So I'm gonna do two in vitality, one strength, and one arcane. Farewell, good 
And the thing I just remembered for the gems, I forgot to get the fire gem for the sword, which is going to help us a lot in the next part of the Forbidden Woods because we're going to have to fight a lot of snakes, like bundles of snakes. A lot of snakehead dudes and fire is going to help us uh, a whole bunch. So we're going to go and get the gem in the next video and uh, get fire on our holy sword. Now be careful, if you didn't do an arcane build on your character, so put points in arcane, once we switch to the fire gem, it's going to scale with arcane. So if you have everything in strength and then you put a fire gem, it's going to do way, way less damage because you have nothing in arcane and it now uses arcane to scale the damage. So this is something you need to uh, be really attentive of. But if you follow this guide and you are doing the same build I'm doing, then you should be fine. So now I'm just uh, putting the best gems I have because we got quite a few. Just making sure we got the uh, best damage on our Ternitris and on our Holy Blade. The Ternitris also is very good in that area because lightning damage does a lot, so especially for the boss. But guys, I hope this helped you. I'll see you all very soon in the next video. We're going to finish the Forbidden Woods and tackle the bosses. So I'll see you all in the next one, guys.